driving down the street and coming back from just errands this morning and saw some smoke coming from the roof of the house and uh, just didn't look right. There were some people there that cars were parked and didn't look correct. Um, asked if the house was on fire and they said they didn't know the doors were locked. Um, went and tried to, I ran down to the house and grabbed a couple things to try to help open up the doors and uh, by the time I got back the door was open. They said that uh, my daughter uh, is out of town on business but they think the grandmother's still in there. Um, went in did like an initial search on the uh, first floor and uh, unlocked the back door. Um, from there, as I was turning around, uh, noticed that she was laying. And there was an elderly lady laying in the kitchen there. Um, grabbed a hold of her. Uh, she was unresponsive. Um, slid her towards the front door. And about that time, there was another gentleman that was there. And he helped me finish getting her out the, the rest of the way down the stairs. Um, from that point, that's where my wife started CPR on her. Um, and we kind of got her covered up and stuff. And, try to take care of her until uh, ambulance got there. It took about eight to 10 minutes for our first arriving companies to, to get here. But, you know, we had a firefighter in the neighborhood that, that was here just by happenstance. All the neighbors were involved. There's just a, quite a community response up here. How is she doing now? What can you tell us about the victim in this? How old is she? And well, there's two things yet to be determined. This is still an investigation, so we're still trying to work through all of those details. And we do know that when she was transported, that they were uh, performing CPR. It was all contained in the kitchen. All the heat was in there, and that's also where she was found. Protective equipment, any gear on? You just went inside. Uh, it's just stuff we do, I guess. Yeah, it wasn't really hot. Just a lot of smoke, as long as you stay low from that, then it was okay, that's just what we do. And when you saw her, what was your first thought? Was she, you said unresponsive, so was she difficult to get out, or how did you? Uh, no, actually, she wasn't very hard to get out. I guess that's, you have a lot of adrenaline, so that kind of helps you out with all that. 